hi guys welcome back to my channel this is Ajilam here thank you so much for coming around and if this is your first time of stopping by to my channel kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get to know anytime i put up a new video so guys for today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to make a three tier ball gown for a three year old girl so if you're interested let's move down to work this line is my starting point okay so the shoulder is 9.5 because my fabric is on fold i'll make it four and a half which is half of that nine so this is four and a half here okay i will come down by half inch for the shoulder slope which is here okay so now the bodice length is nine inches but I'll be making it 10. One inch is for my seam allowance. So this is 10 here. Okay. So let me just mark it out. And I'll connect it. Okay. So now for the neck width, I'll be using two and three quarter so this is two and three quarter here and the neck depth i'll be using two and quarter which is here okay it's up to you if you want it to be more open you can make it two and a half so it depends on what you're trying to make okay so i'll connect Okay, so here the armhole is three and three quarter. So this is three and three quarter here. Okay. So I'll put in my sho the shoulder, which is four and a half, and I'll connect to this point. Right. Okay, then here I'll connect this point to this point here. Okay, so here, this is the chest line. Now, the chest measurement is 20, um, 23. So, 23 divided by 4 is 5 and 3 quarter. So, this is 5 and 3 quarter here. Okay, and I'll add 1 inch for my seam. Okay, so now I will check what I have here. Here I have three and three quarter. Half of that I will fold my tape like so. Right. Then I will mark out the midpoint, which is here. Okay, so then now I will come in by half inch. So this is half inch so I will now connect it to this point if you have been following my tutorials you should be familiar with this by now okay so connect this side as well and that is it so the waist is 22 so 22 divided by 4 is five and a half plus one inch for same as well so i'll just connect now we have the front you can see it's very easy and simple to do so now i'll just cut it out so this is the front okay so i will now use this front to cut out the back pattern so sorry the back so now this is what i'll be using for the back okay 
So I will just draw a line as my starting point. Okay. Then here, I will uh, mark out one inch for my zipper allowance. So this is one inch. And the body's length, remember, is 10, which is here. So, it's 10. Now connect. Okay. So now the shoulder is is nine point five. Nine half of that, I will put it here. Remember, as you can see, I stopped at this line, the zipper line. So this is it, four and half. I'll come down by half inch for the shoulder slope. Okay. So I will use the same two and three quarter. For the neck width, then I will connect. The armhole is three three quarter, which is here. Okay, so it's three and three quarter here. I'll put in the shoulder measurement, and I'll connect. Okay, so this is the chest line. It's almost the same thing with the front. So here I will put in the chest measurement, which is this. And I'll add the one inch for my seam allowance. Okay, so here I will just connect it. I will not be coming in. I will, not mark, I will not come in by half like I did for the front side. I will just curve it like that. That is just the difference from the front. Okay, let me use this smaller one. Okay, so here... For the back neck depth, you can use half or one inch. It all depends on how you want it. But for me, I'll be using half inch. Okay, and I'll connect it. Okay, so the, the waist is 22, which is five and half. Close one inch for my seam and I'll connect. That is how simple the back is. Okay, but here at this point here, you know the front and the back is not always the same. The back is a bit curvy than the front. So because of that, here I'll be coming up by quarter inch. Okay. And I will just connect it straight to this point here. That is it. Okay, so that is just how to cut the back. As you can see, very easy. So now let me cut it out. this is the front while this is the back so i'll just place it on my fabric and i will do the cutting before we start
for the down part this is what i'll be using this is my net okay so i will start with the bigger one remember it's a three tier that we are making so let me just start with the big one here dress you decide the distance you want um from the first to the second and the last one i hope you that you're you're getting what i'm trying to say so for this you can use the length like this now i'm using 15 inches you can divide it by three since we are making a three tier and that will give us five meaning you give the space should be five inches from each of the steps to the other okay so but for me it's not compulsory you can decide how you want it if you don't want it exactly like that it's just up to you how you want to make the dress okay so for this one here i'll be using i'll be using seven and a half from this point here okay so when you're marking it out always start from the side that is shorter as you can see this side is shorter this is the shorter side so always start from there okay so i'll just mark out my seven and a half all round okay inches so i will start from this other side that is short okay i will now mark my 15 inches from this shorter side and i'll do it all the way around This is for the second tier. Okay, so for this three tier, I use I'm using um the first tier is one and a half. This is one yard, and the last one will be half yard. So that will be making it three yards. Three yards all together. So that's what I'm using. Okay, I'll repeat the same thing I did on the tier that I just showed you. Now I'll repeat the same for the three. So I'll just do all that and cut it out before we continue. I'll be folding it in a different way, as you can see. So, because I don't want the dress to be too stuffy or too heavy. So, after folding it like this, I'll be using, from this point here, I'll be using 12 inches downwards. Okay, so this is 12 inches. Because I'll be gathering it, that's why I'm using 12 inches so that I'll still have enough fabric to gather. Okay. So this is 12 inches. Here I'll still use the same, the same 15 inches so that by the time I hem, by the time I fold this area, it will be very okay. So I'll just mark out my 15 inches as well, all round. So this is it. I mark out the 15 inches. So now I will just cut. Okay. So I will first of all fold the hem area. I will just fold that. And I will use my gather stitch and run it all the way down. I will do the same on the three tier. So for the lining, this is my lining. I have already fixed in. My hard net already on it to see more how to do this because of time i will not be doing repeating it again check my video on how to make a christening or child or sorry christening or baptism dress for a girl and you will see step by step on how to cut out your lining and how to fix in the hard net okay so i will run this one first and i'll show you i have joined all together you see this is how it looks okay so now it's already looking beautiful so now the upper part um i will first 
and foremost join the I'll first of all join the shoulders with the back one okay and I'll close the armhole as well I'll do the same on the on the lining okay you should know this by now okay but in case you don't know you can also check out my video on how to make a party dress for a year old baby girl and you get to see more on that so I will just join it do the same thing on the lining and then close up the armhole and I'll show you so after joining it the shoulder and the armhole this is how it looks okay this is it so now i'll be using a, a little band i want to add band to it okay so here i'll just fix in the band and i will now close the sides together before i will now uh, join this down down part like this okay so let me just do all that quickly and i'll show you after joining the upper part and the lower part together okay as you can see this is what i have i will now take this and give it a good weaving okay so now this is the front it's already looking beautiful so now i'll take my lining with my hard nets okay like i said earlier you can check out my video how to make a christening or baptism dress for a girl and you get to see how to do all this so now as you can see i've given it a notch so i'll do the same on this one okay let me just give it a notch so now after giving it a notch I will open it up like this and I will take this lining and place it the front okay facing each other and I will now sew it all the way down okay so let me just do that and I will close the back and show you so I have fixed the lining as you can see and I've closed the back side so it's just to put the zip and to do the necessary weaving all around and the dress is ready okay so see how the front looks all right the final look of the dress as you can see is already looking beautiful so that is it for today i believe you were able to grab one or two things from today's tutorial so please like share comment and most importantly subscribe to my channel and i will see you on the next one